Hello and welcome to a new video of PenPot, the open source design and prototyping tool for the whole team. Today we have a very special video because we already released the 1.7 uh, alpha version of PenPot which include a lot of new features and in this video we are going to uh, walk through the most important uh, features that we already done. So uh, let's go! So the first one is that now PenPot allows you to import and export PenPot files, uh, which is uh, yeah very very good news. So now, for example, if I want to export this file, our UI onboarding, I only have to go to the file menu and click in export file, and we get a new. Uh, model with three options and these options we can choose between export shadow libraries uh, that means that for example uh, in our UI onboarding file we are using the PenPod design system which is a shadow library as you can see here with this icon and we are uh, using uh, this component this library in our file so we can export uh, the the shadow libraries included uh, with all the linkage etc. Second option is that we uh, can include the shadow library in the uh, proper file library. So we only uh, will get one file with this uh, uh, shadow library merged in the file library. Uh, UI onboarding file, okay. And the third one is that uh, the uh, objects and elements that uh, belongs to uh, the design system library will be used as basic objects. So it, that means that they are merged or imported in the uh, uh, UI onboarding file, but there are no components; are only basic objects. Okay, so we click in continue and we'll, we will get the, the exporting. And if we want to import a file, we only have to go to a project menu, for example here, and click in import files. And the files we already export will be imported in, in the current project. Second big feature is that now groups and components uh, have uh, constraints. Uh, so, uh, in order to manage all the, the elements into a component or a group. Uh, so, for example, here I have a, 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 an element, a design element, uh, which include uh, a tag, a comments counter, the user image and, and name, and the rect, which is the, the background. So, as you can see here now, you can set all the constraints uh, and behavior uh, when this component or group uh, scale or uh, increase or decrease its size. Okay, so for example, if I select uh, the, the user group, I could set that constraints to left top the comments counter I will set top and center for the constraints and for the tag I will set top and right. So now if I uh, select the whole component or group I have all the elements position fixed with the constraints I already set. The third feature is that now we have new options for uh, manage and organize all the assets. For example, here in this file I have uh, these components created and I want to create a group for, for example, this uh, table. Okay, these table elements. We have this header, the row and the whole table. So I have the row, the header and the table and then I select all these three elements, right click and click in group. I want to say table create. And now inside my component I have table 
already create and I can collapse and uh, rename it easily and the last thing that we are going to review in this video is that now if uh, I can share components between between files doing copy and paste if both files share the same library so I uh, create this uh, constraints test file as side library and another file that I already have opened uh, are, is using the, the same library. So I want to copy this table element going to the new file which is using the constraints test library and paste the component and as you can see it has the the component already linked.